All right, my friends, workout number four for the week. We're on pre-Friday or Thursday, as most folks like to call it. And we're gonna do another arm-focused workout. This is a little spin on a classic CrossFit workout they call GT. It's a hero workout named after somebody who passed away in the field. And we're gonna show you what it looks like. So it's three rounds. First round, we're doing 21 reps of each movement. Second round, we're gonna do 15 reps of each movement. And the last round, we're gonna do nine of each movement. The three movements are pipe push-up, hand release push-up, and then we're gonna do some dips. So a very tricep or uh, that extending muscle of the elbow oriented today. So I'm gonna give you an option first for the pike push-up. This one's gonna be pretty hard for a lot of us, but I'm gonna show us a scale to kind of make sure that we can still all do this. So we have our trusty couch, chair, bench, bed, whatever you got in your home. You're gonna throw your feet on there. Once my feet are on the edge, I'm going to walk my hands close. Okay, head's gonna come out in front of the hands, touch the floor, nose goes to my knees as I finish, okay? The whole point of me elevating my toes and walking the hands close is now I have a lot of body weight over my own shoulders. So that's gonna get the arms working real good. If that's too much body weight, I can move to the knee from here rather than being on the toes. If that's still too intense for me, what I can do is just go into like this funky push-up position where I'll be here, lock my hands out a little bit, okay? Head goes out in front, touches the ground, nose goes to the knees. This is supposed to simulate a handstand push-up pretty well. Very hard if done right. That's movement number one, the pike push-up. Up next, we have the hand release push-up. And this is not too far off what a normal push-up looks like. You're gonna come to the ground, hands release off the floor to prove you're laying down. Hands go back, push all the way up. Modifications for this could be knee hand release push-ups or just normal knee push-ups, okay? Last but not least, we have those dips. Again, we're gonna come back to our couch, bench, chair, bed, whatever we got. We're going to put our hands on the edge. We're going to scoot our butt so it's just off the bench, bed, chair, whatever it is. We're going to come down as low as we can, come back up. Yes, I can use my legs through here, but I'm trying to be really soft. Some people find it more challenging to have the legs out straight, that's fine. What I'm trying to avoid is the flaring of the elbows in this position. When I come down for that dip, everything should be tucked in. So imagine someone's behind you trying to smush your elbows together, okay? So 21 pike push-ups, 21 hand release push-ups, 21 dips on your couch, bench, whatever you got. Then it's 15 of each, then it's nine of each. And then ta-da, you're done. But if you want another little core finisher, I got a special one for you. You can do three to five rounds of this little cash out, okay? Very simple. 30 second plank, 30 second side plank. You can go from the forearm or the palm. Then you're gonna come back, 30 second plank, 30 second side plank on the other side. 30 seconds rest before you go at it again. So a two-parter today. Do one, do the other, do both. But if you do it, video it, send it to me, tag me, show a friend. Uh, make sure that you subscribe, like, comment on this post. I'll see you guys tomorrow for our at-home workout.